Hey everyone, today I've got your Paddington movie review. From the producers of Harry Potter, this famous bear who travels to London gets to live with a truly great family and making his new home a place to remember. So as far as the story goes, there are a lot of famous bears out there. You've got Yogi Bear, Winnie the Pooh, and even Bear in the Big Blue House, I'm just saying. But Paddington started his life in a devastating way, and it was truly sad to see, but it turned into a charming tale of making new friends and having a family that he meets in Paddington Station, which is how he got his name in the first place. And this movie does have a pretty impressive cast. Uh, since Colin Firth stepped down to voice Paddington, Ben Wishaw took over. There are a lot of other familiar faces, and it's no surprise that the best of the Harry Potter franchise joined in like Imelda Staunton, Jim Broadbent, Julie Walters, and Michael Gambone, along with Doctor Who himself, Peter Capaldi. So I thought it was really nice touch and it was just really cool. And you've got the more well-known actors like Academy Award winner Nicole Kidman, whose character name sounds a lot like Maleficent, and Golden Globe winner Sally Hawkins, uh, who were also pretty good as well. Um, they were just so uh, excellent in their roles and even sometimes, uh, you know, intense. Uh, and there were some things I definitely did like about this movie. Um, this is definitely a cute film for the entire family and I really mean that because um, although you have this talking bear um, who is literally walking amongst the humans, you would think that it would be like the strangest thing in the world and people would uh, not accept a bear like that. You'd see this bear uh, turn up on an episode of American Horror Story Freak Show. And I mean, this bear um, was the cutest thing ever. Um, and you would think that everyone has the Dr. Doolittle gene in them. This movie definitely had a lot of fun moments and it was full of adventure. Um, but the best parts I would say in this movie were those that they had already shown in the trailers and TV spots. So I kind of lost the um, epic surprise of the movie. But it was still enjoyable to watch. I mean, I would definitely see this again and again just because of how you know heartwarming it was it was a really sweet film and good for the entire family um so you can definitely take your kids to watch this movie i'm just saying it was uh adorable um so i can't get enough of this movie and i originally didn't think uh that i was going to enjoy it because i didn't really know too much about uh, the character of Paddington, although it is really popular out in London, so uh, it's no surprise that they have a movie that comes out about him. Um, and, you know, I was always getting him confused with Corduroy the Bear. Uh, so, uh, either way, I still found it to be a pretty enjoyable movie to watch. So, overall, Paddington is a great, sweet film. Uh, that I could definitely watch over and over again and I would recommend checking this out if you haven't seen it and I would give this four hearts on the heart rate scale so let me know in the comments what you guys think of Paddington and who is your favorite bear uh, that was either in a book or on film and as always you guys can subscribe to my channel i've got more movie reviews movie updates coming every week for chill thursday video you guys can also like me on facebook and follow me on twitter and i will see you guys later